a square column of wood the square column is 2.5 meter long so l is equal to 2.5 2.5 meter long with pin ends so pin end means uh, both of end is hinge so both of end is hinge then effective length is equal to actual length so l e is equal to l so effective length is 2.5 meter 2.5 into 10 raised to 3 mm so next taking a factor of safety is 2.5 so factor of safety is 2.5 computing euler's critical load and also taking the allowable compression stress as 12 newton per mm square so sigma c is equal to 12 newton per mm square find the size of the cross section size of the cross section means b if the column has two safety support safe load 1 is 150 kilo newton and safe load 2 is 275 kilo newton and il modulus of elasticity e is equal to 1.3 into 10 raised to 4 4 newton per mm square so case one safe load is the safe load formula is e safe is equal to creeping load divided by factor of safety and rearranging this and we get pc is equal to factor of safety multiplied by ps so put value in this factor of safety is 2.5 multiplied by ps is 250 into 10 raised to 3 so we get creeping load is 360 375 into 10 raised to 3 newton then put this formula in creeping load so pc is equal to pi square ei divided by le square so pi square multiply by e multiply by we don't have the i value so we put its equation uh, b, b raised to 4 divided by 12 divided by le square so putting value in this so creeping load is 375 into 10 raised to 3 is equal to pi square multiply by e is 1.3 into 10 raised to 4 multiply by b raised to 4 divided by 12 upon 2500 square or length is 2.5 into 10 raised to 3 and each square solving this term and we get b is equal to 1 to 1 0.67 mm and taking positive value 122 mm and check value of normal stress in the column so sigma is equal to p safe upon area is equal to so p safe is 150 into 10 raised to 3 divided by area is 122 and 8 square so we get 10.07 newton per mm square as sigma sigma is less than sigma c then size of 122 mm is acceptable next case 2 safe load is two seventy five kilo newton is equal to 275 into 10 raised to 3 newton so again creeping load is equal to factor of safety multiplied by p safe so factor of safety is 2.5 multiplied by 275 into 10 raised to 3 and we get creeping load 687.10 raised to 0.5 into 10 raised to 3 newton so creeping load formula pi square multiply by e multiply by i divided by l e square so pi square multiply by e i b i i is value not given to we write i is equation b raised to 4 divided by 12 divided by l e square so put value in this so p uh, safe uh, creeping load is 687.5 into 10 raised to 3 is equal to pi square multiply by e is 1.3 into 10 raised to 4 multiply by b raised to 4 divided by 12 upon effective length is 2.5 into 10 raised to 3 and each square and we get b is equal to 141.58 taking positive value 142 mm and check whether value of normal stress in the column so sigma is equal to 
be safe divided by area so p safe is 1275 into 10 raised to 3 divided by 142 and its square and we get 13.63 newton per mm square as sigma is sigma is greater than sigma c then the size of 142 by 142 is not acceptable as sigma is greater than sigma c the size of 142 by 142 mm is not acceptable so for this case we must select the cross section on the basis of its resistance to compression so sigma c is equal to p safe divided by area so sigma c's value is 12 is equal to p safe is 275 into 10 raised to 3 Divide by area is b square, so b is equal to one five one point three eight mm. So one five one one five one point three eight is acceptable.